to find the answer to that question as to whether Carr will be back in State College or in the 2018 draft. Let's head to State College and listen in. Carr joined by his head coach, Patrick Chambers, as well as parents, Anthony and Nicole Carr. Oh, um, first and foremost, I just want to say um, thanks to everybody for coming out. Thanks to my family, my friends, my teammates, my parents and coaches for just helping me uh, uh, um, on this long journey. Um, it, um, it's not been great. And uh, I um, thought about this very, very, very long and hard. I talked it over with my mom and my dad and my coaches. And we just came to the, we just came to the conclusion that the best thing for me moving forward is to um, make that move to the NBA. And I definitely have intent on um, signing with an agent. Nick and Sarah are here with microphones, so please raise your hand if you would like to ask a question. Why does it say that? Tony, I'm just wondering when uh, did you come to this decision and who kind of helped you arrive at this point? Uh, I probably came to this decision last night, and my uh, and my parents my parents helped me, and I um, talked to my coaches about it. And uh, we all just came to a um, group decision that this was the best move for me moving forward. Tony, have you, you know, talked with anyone just to, like, review, you know, where exactly, you know, you, you might go in the draft that kind of, you know, made it made a somewhat of an easier decision for you to decide to make this move now? Uh, yeah, I um, definitely have uh, some some good feedback from Coach. Um, he, he gave me some good feedback. And I'm pretty confident on um, where I may go in the draft. So that definitely played a part. Yeah, my decision. Tony, can you tell us what sort of feedback you got, and did you give any um, consideration to not signing with an agent and keeping the options open to kind of test the water, so to speak? Uh, like I said before, uh, most of the feedback was positive, and I um, definitely gave it a little bit of thought not to sign with an agent and test the waters, but um, I feel like my, um, my um, dream my dream is to get drafted into the NBA, so I feel like I, I have the opportunity to, to um, chase that dream. So that's um, what I'm going to do moving forward. You mentioned being confident about where you're going to go. What have you heard with some of the feedback you've gotten? Uh, you know, just... Um, Mid to late first round, early um, second round. That's his. That's his. Um, that's how much I need to hear, really. And uh, I read a great article that you put out earlier. Had Thanks, some, guy. Yeah, <laughs> had some good, uh, some um, some um, good feedback in that. So um, pretty much, I just been hearing good, good feedback. And, um, and um, like I said before, I feel like this is a, um, one in a life. This is one in a lifetime opportunity. So just for me to even be able to sit up here and tell you guys that I'm going to. Um, that, um, that I put my name in the drive as a uh, dream come true. Tony, what are, what are some of the improvements that you feel like you've made that make you best prepared for, for that one? Uh, I made some um, great improvements. Um, just um, starting with this summer, I gained 25 pounds of muscle, which we all know, and I put in great great work this offseason with Coach Ergo and uh, Coach uh, Coach Griffin on my shot, and I made some strides in that. And I feel like my... Um, my um my game just took the next step this year, so I feel like it's time for me to take the next step um, with my life and um, with my um basketball career. And and was there a point this season during the season where you felt like you most made that step? Uh, I felt like I kind of made it the uh, first the uh, first game this season. I feel like I was um I was um, pretty consistent through, throughout my the whole year with with my performances. So uh, I'm definitely just um. Just, just um, came into the season with a uh, different mindset, and um, that's where it's, um, this is where it um, got me. So I just want to, uh, like I said before, just thank everybody and just keep and just, um, keep moving forward with, with my basketball career. Tony, I hear you can you just talk about Coach Chambers and how he and his staff helped you get to this point? Yeah, um, um, Coach has done a great job with me. I'm on and off the court, man. Coach, man. Me and Coach, our relationship has got um, much, much, much better as as um as I'm um, time went on. Uh, 
And I um, think that's why the team had, um, took such great strides because um, Coach was doing a great job leading us. Me and, me and Coach were always on the same page. And, you know, um, I have um, great teammates. And uh, they, um, they, they just kind of made this, this uh, my, my time being here at Penn State great. Uh, I, um, I um, love the coaching staff. I um, love my teammates. This is on. This is definitely one of the uh, most connected teams I've been on, players and coaches. And, you know, um, I'm just I'm thankful for my time here. Hi. Over here. Can you tell us your thoughts now? I'm sure there's mixed emotions because, you know, it's a great time for the program, but you're obviously losing a, a guy who's been a terrific player for you. Tony Carr set the standard for sure uh, for, for the current team and, and for Penn Staters, uh, future Penn Staters, future Nittany Lions. Um, you know, we're going to miss him, but I think this is awesome. I think it's great for his family, his dad, and, and his mom, and his cousins that are here in the back, and his friends. I, I think it's just a, a dream come true. And no way, shape, or form can we stand in a way in front of anybody's dreams. And we would never want to do that. So I think it's a win-win for, you know, it's, you know, it's going to hurt me because we're going to miss Tony, especially the relationship that we've developed over, over his two years here. But I think it's going to be a win-win for everybody, for Tony and, and for this program. What was the conversation like with what was the conversation like with Tony when when he made the decision and, and told you and, and just maybe some of the feedback that you gave him to get ready? Yeah, I don't think it was just one. I think there was multiple because um, you always want to have that open dialogue with with your players. Um, and the the information that I received after the Big Ten tournament was glowing. You know, just like Tony said, anywhere from 15 to 30, anywhere from 25 to 35, I mean, it just, I mean, how can I prevent a kid from living his dream? How can I prevent somebody who has a great opportunity to help his family? You know, you, you can't do that. Um, so Tony was very mature about it. You know, he, he kept telling me, we're, we're focused, I'm here, I'm present. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not worried about that to the end of the season. And I think that's why we were able to cut down some nets, too. That just shows you his maturity. Uh, um, I just want to um, thank them for everything um, since day one. I've I feel like the community and um, and embraced me first and foremost, but also and, um, and embraced the team. We um, have great fans here. And, you know, uh, we we um, we I wouldn't want any of them 26 games this. This I'm here without the fans, and uh, you know they I'm always gonna hold on a special place in my heart, and um, I just want to thank them for coming out every game, even when um, things weren't looking good or we won a two-game losing streak, three-game losing streak, but they always still came out and uh, and and I'm cheering this on, and I'm and um and I I'm definitely always hold that near 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 um dear to my heart. Tony, when did you tell your teammates that you decided, and what was their reaction like? Uh, I probably told them about two days ago, maybe, and they were all uh, just so happy for me. Uh, I have I'm close friends on this team, and I've been talking to um to um them about it for for uh, maybe one or two weeks, and you know they um they I'm just they I'm just had my back. They told me um any decision that I make, that I'm going to fully support me, and um you know but. The, the our friendships and the brotherhood um, that we have on the team is much, much, much bigger than basketball. So me um, going to the draft doesn't doesn't pretty much um, take me uh, uh, away from it. You know, we still going to have those great bonds and those um, and those um, great connections that we built here. How did this career, college career, would you say go for you? I mean, I know everybody when they're in high school, they have yeah. visions of stuff's going to go one way or another. How did this, did it live up to what you thought it would be, or how did that go? It definitely lived up to everything that I thought it would be, plus plus more, you know, um, Penn, Penn, Penn um, State is a great school, and it had offered me many opportunities off the court that I um, took advantage of, too. But the, um, the ones on the court definitely were special. You know, just coming here to play, coming here to play for a great coach like uh, Coach Chambers, who um, who um, loved me from day one, let me play my game. Uh, um, um, everything that he told me was going to happen was going to happen. Uh, we um, even had a one shining moment, which was um, cutting down nets in Madison Square Garden. So um, I'm just thankful for Coach always keeping it real with me, you know, and also for me to come here and play with my um, two best friends that I, that I came from high school with. It was just great. So um, it was definitely great, 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 great things that I um, took away from the school that um, didn't have anything to do with the basketball. Obviously, it's early to take a big picture look at this. But where do you think that you leave this program? 
Uh, I don't think our leaders program in a great place. We just want to, um, we don't just win a championship. We just won a great um, championship and a, uh, and a great, great, great place in Madison Square Garden. You know, uh, we still have um, great players here. And, um, Lamar, we have great, great freshmen coming in. Uh, Josh, Mike, we're going to have some great guys back. And we also still got one of the best coaches in the Big Ten here. So I'm definitely uh, happy where I um, leave this school. I feel like I left my imprint on it, and that's um, all I can do. But I'm definitely looking forward to the, uh, for the um, years to come for this team and this uh, program. Tony, can you tell us where you stand academically and is finishing your degree something that you have in mind moving forward? Uh, the one thing I have in my mind moving forward is I'm um, chasing my dream and that's um, getting to the NBA and just making sure that I'm, I'm most prepared for when I get there. But uh, me coming back and um, getting my degree is um, definitely something that I'm going to do uh, once I'm, uh, I'm established and, uh, and I've had the time for that. I'm, I'm definitely going to come back and get it. Follow-up questions for Tony. Any other questions for Coach Chambers? Thank you, everyone.